Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. So this is an update on my AMD Ryzen 5900X, Ryzen 9 5900X. So when I got it, out of the box, the pins were all bent and tried to take, tried to straighten them to no avail, uh, did not work. And because I didn't film it, I didn't think I could take it back. But anyway, I took it back to the place I bought it from and they basically said, yeah, it was me that damaged it, even though I know it wasn't. So, long story short, they wouldn't do anything. Told me to contact AMD. AMD came through. I got a replacement through them. It was a whole thing, but they, they delivered. They gave me a brand new 5900X. So, I'm not out of pocket, and I've got that. So, the process we're going to do now is I took the 3600X out. Before putting the 5900 in the motherboard that I had because at the time I wasn't sure if it was CPU or was it in fact the motherboard so the 3600 is in there now so let's have a look and uh, I'll show you what's going on and let's go from there so as you can see here motherboards up and running with the 3600x in it and now this is the one where I had put on the uh, new CPU cooler from uh, Noctua so it's the NHD15S and I never got to test the temperatures or anything. And I was still going to do that with the 5900X. But as you can see, the uh, it's running right now. CPU temp is running at 31 degrees. I'm very happy with that. And uh, so anyway, I'm booting into the BIOS. So the only thing left to do now, and this is my 5900X. Brand new one I now have. I'm very happy again with that. And so we're going to put that in. We're going to test it. We're going to... Make sure it works, which it should. Hopefully it doesn't need a BIOS update because I'm not doing it with this. Otherwise, I won't know for sure. And then you won't know if this motherboard actually can run the 5000 series out of the box. So that would defeat the purpose. So that's what I'm going to do next. We're going to take this out. The 3600, we're going to put the 5900X back in. Start it back up. Everything gets me to this point. We'll do some temps and uh, we'll go from there. And then see how good this CPU cooler is. Is actually working okay so our 5900x is installed uh, I've already done the install of the uh, Noctua cooler before now that the 5900x is in here it should start up if it doesn't that means I have to update the BIOS which means switching thing all over again so we're gonna start it up and hopefully we'll get to the boot screen and everything will be good so here we go well that's a very positive sign now this is Ryzen 9 5900X, and if they get that boot screen, I'm going to be a happy guy. Now it does take a couple seconds, so be patient. But I can hear everything running. That's the key. And there we go. We're going into our BIOS. So you hit F1 to enter to run the setup. And wow, our CPU temperatures, it's running a lot higher than... Uh, other CPUs I've had before is running at 44 degrees. Wow, it's a little warmer than I would have thought. But um, they do say it runs a lot hotter. So we'll find out just how hot when we start doing all the testing. And that is exactly what I'm going to wind up doing. Um, so stay tuned. We're going to get to that and we're going to go through the whole gambit and see just where we set. Okay, so 5900X is now in the system. We're running it. And I thought the first thing I wanted to do is run Cinebench R23. Uh, I've had the system up and running for a bit now, so I will show you the temps here in a little bit, but I wanted to show you uh, what the Cinebench R23 uh, single uh, core and multiple core uh, test will result in. So I'm going to pause this, come back when it's done. Okay, so the first run uh, single core is 1611 points, which is uh, pretty good when you look at it. On the uh, left hand side here, it's sitting at the top of all the different uh, CPU single core tests. Okay, even above the uh, i7 1165G7. And yeah, no, it's doing really well. So we're going to do the multi core uh, test and we'll come back to that as well. So something I wanted to just show you is our temperatures were 46. But after everything settled and I made sure the fan speeds and everything were all good, uh, running the CPU fan at uh, 1159, about 1150 RPM thereabouts. So basically full speed. 
but it's keeping the temperatures pretty good. So we're running at 57 right now with Cinebench running. And my idle right now is around 41. I'll show you that once this is all done. And it, it hasn't topped out more than 57 doing this, which I don't know. I don't know what the normal is for this. But so far, it's been working pretty good and 58. So I just wanted to show that to you as part of what's going on. Okay, so our CPU multi-core after multiple renders uh, passes. I think it's over 12 or 13 or maybe even 14. Our final score for that was 21, 272 points. And it's third on the list with only the uh, Ryzen Threadripper 2990W and the Intel Xeon W3265M passing it. So I'm pretty happy with this, considering that the first one I got out of the box was Bent Pens. This one's the one that actually works and came as it should be. Um, so now let's look at some of the temps now that we've had a look at this. Okay, so finally what we're going to do is I'm going to run ADA64. I'm using the free version and we're going to run the system stability test, which will ramp everything up and uh, we'll get going. So we're going to go in here. As I said, it's a trial version, so we're just going to minimize this, maximize this so you can see it better. And what, I'm not going to stress the GPU because there's no need. And we're just going to start and we're going to let it run for at least five minutes to see how it gets and what the temperatures get to. So once I click start, of course, this is going to ramp up to 100% using the uh, CPU. And we're going to see where our temps are. So it's saying 27 to 35. And right now we're at 59. We'll see what it gets to. Um, this, this is a good test for seeing just how well it can perform overall when you're doing something all out. Because this is going to max it out and then you'll, you'll find out in the end. So again, I'm going to pause this and we'll come back when we find the, what it really is after a good five minute run. So we're at the five and a half minute mark and I'm quite surprised actually. It hit up here, what was it? It was around 68 and it seems to settle right around 66 67 and it's really not varying much from that so now we hit 69 so this is at the almost six minute mark so i'm going to let it run a little bit longer another maybe five minutes or so to come back and just see what it is because i'm really surprised but uh considering that it's a noctua cooler i probably shouldn't be surprised again that's the noctua nh d15s you put it together right and use their paste, uh, which they ship with the product, I might add. Um, you can see that it's doing very, very well. In fact, it keeps dropping. Um, so yeah, 66, 67, we just hit 71. It's doing its job. This is 100% utilization, maxing out the CPU to see what it can do. And yeah, it's working. It's doing a good job here. So we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, so we've gone past the 10 minute mark. You can see how it's been going, a little bit up, a little bit down, uh, 67, I've hit high of 679, or sorry, 72, and really I haven't seen much higher than that. Um, so this is maxed out, like I say. So when you're gaming, I don't even know if you can get that high. But hey, your experience is made different than mine. But this is 8064, the most recent version, running it. There is a 72 again, which might be the highest we've got. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this uh, overall. All right, everybody. So we got the 5900X back. We did the testing. We saw the temps. We saw how well it performs. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the temperatures are staying much better than I thought. So I have seen it around 46 when I first started with it. And it seemed to level off and it idles somewhere around 41, 42. And of course you saw the extreme testing where it went up to 72, maybe 76 at the most. So that's extreme testing, 100% utilization of the CPU. And uh, you saw the results. So again, the Noctua cooler, uh, definitely doing its job to keep it cool and make sure everything functions. So I have no doubt that this will work way beyond what I thought it would. And I'm happy with it. So if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, well, you know what to do. Leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see. Or if there's other, te other tests you'd like to see performed next time. Um, if you're new here, think about subscribing. 
There's now a super thanks on the video, so if you want to click that thanks, you can make a small donation, help out the channel, help me out personally. Um, and there's also the join button if you want to be a longtime supporter of the channel and help me out. Either way helps out the channel, but not required, of course. The bell is there for notifications for upcoming videos. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.